Hi, today I'm gonna show you another video about the Texas Instruments TI-99 4A and tell you something about the problems, uh, how to get games on the machine and uh, what I think is the easiest, cheapest and best solution to manage that. The TI itself is a nice looking, well-built machine of its era and uh, in the first time it came to the market uh, was market leader. But Texas Instruments made some strange design decisions about uh, the RAM and the architecture in total uh, and that makes it difficult to use this machine as a games machine on its own. The TI has 16K of RAM built into, um, but with the TI BASIC you can only use about 4K of that RAM because the rest is used as video memory for the graphics resolution. So of course you can connect a tape drive to the machine and uh, load games into the machine with a tape drive uh, or save your own programs on it, but uh, there are not much titles available uh, that can run on this not expanded machine. If you wanted to use the machine for something serious, you really needed the peripheral extension box. Here you can see a system with a peripheral extension box and a voice module and an original TI monitor. But uh, with this setup you were able to use uh, serious software from floppy disks because there was 32k RAM expansion in the PEB. Um, but it was quite expensive. So if you were a game developer back then, you had to choose. Um, make games that only use 4K on cassette tape, uh, make games that make use of the 32K RAM expansion in the PEB and uh, that come on floppy disk, or uh, use the third option and that is cartridge-based games. The cartridges or solid state software as TI named it goes in this slot. I have got one cartridge when I bought the system. I showed in an earlier video it was a chess game. Not that interesting. But today there is flash media available that is cartridge based and the best solution is the final GROM 99 by Ralf Benzinger. And uh, you find all the infos on GitHub but you can't buy it directly from him. One shop you can get it from is the Brewing Academy from USA. Uh, here you can get it for $75. And there's the cartridge with a cartridge case that looks 3D printed and uh, the problem is $75 is a lot of money especially because this is international shipping and the shop is outside the EU. Another place to buy it is on Selma Retro and uh, there's an offer from Hungary for six euros, but this is without a case and uh, you also have to pay shipping, which is about 15 or 18 euros. So I was quite happy when I discovered that 8Bits Forever, the shop where I bought my SD512 flash storage for the MSX computer, also sells the final GROM 99. Uh, it's in a 3D printed case and uh, it's 70 euros plus shipping and as I already ordered there uh, I only paid shipping once for two cartridges. And in the unboxing video of the SD512 you could see uh, that there was another little gadget in the package on the right and this is, this is the final GROM 99. And there it is. It comes in a semi-transparent 3D printed case. Uh, to be honest, the case is not very nice. 
So the first thing I did when I got this was to find a better solution for the cartridge case. And that is the former Chessmaster cartridge. Uh, I won't use that anymore. I don't play chess on the computer. Uh, so I took the cartridge, uh, did the holes for the buttons and the slot for the SD card and printed my own little label on this. And this is much nicer. Let's put it in. And there it is. And of course, before using it, you have to prepare the SD card. Luckily, on the Atari H forum in the internet, you find uh, image files for the final GROM 99. Uh, you can click here to find a zip file. And our zip file is somewhere here. And so you grab all these files and drag them to the SD card. And then we can remove it. Now we can take the final GROM cartridge and insert our SD card with the clicky adapter. And be sure that the computer is off and insert the cartridge. And off we go. And when you start the TI and you press a key, your final GROM 99 appears on the menu. So you press two. And there is the content of the SD card in the games folder. And there's quite a lot. Some people say the games on the TI-99 are not that good. The graphics isn't good. The sound isn't good. So uh, let's take a look at some games and we build our own opinion. I think some arcade conversions are quite good, so first have a look at Centipede. Oh shit. I think that's not bad. And here's burger time. And 
TikTok. I like it. And Donkey Kong. A very good playability. Well, that was easy. Moon Patrol. And Miss Pac-Man. Oh, oh. Popeye. Robotron. Thank <laughs> you. 
And of course, there were some games that were unique for the Texas Instruments. Like Alpina. And of course, Parsec. I think that's enough for today and you can build your own opinion of if you like to get a TI-99 or you don't. Bye!